Hello everybody, this is Pahamar, and Direwolf20 is around here somewhere too, and it's episode 23 of Pahi Plays and Direwolf Plays Agrarian Skies. How are you doing, Mr. Direwolf? I'm doing good, sir. How are you? I'm excellent. We've both been busy. We have. Like, a lot of the quests that were, like, next on the list were kind of just grindy slash craft a bunch of things so i did a couple of them off camera because it was just boring crafting that would not be entertaining for people to watch so i think i'm ready to hand in like a bunch of stuff believe it or not and also a couple of the quests it turns out that i actually like already did in just you know doing things yeah i got wondering <laughs> yeah, that I when i saw that bound sword last episode i was like i bet you that was one of them well you know what i said to myself i bet that bound sword requires like all the bound tools no no, it just needs a bound sword. So, <laughs> and it was nice. a crafting quest too. So the fact that we just got it means like it was already done. So let's see. I have some quests to hand in too. Uh, would you like okay. to go first? No, you can go ahead. What do you got? Some Hell's Kitchen. Let's do that one. Sure. Actually, we should probably show what I did downstairs, just so. Uh... Okay. So you did actual setting up of stuff. Yeah. So we had these um, pressers from earlier. Right. And oh, so, that's a really neat interface. Yep. Yeah. So what I've done here is I've got these ME interfaces here, um, pushing in soybeans, which I've just been manually farming for the past couple, uh, actually the past week. Every time I run by it, I just kind of harvest it. Okay. So I've got uh, this one here on the left is taking soybeans, and it's making soft tofu and uh, soy milk. And the one on the right is taking, sorry, the silken tofu and turning it into firm tofu. Cool. And because firm tofu can be used in place of most proteins, we can actually use it for a lot of the uh, cooking recipes. Oh, good plan, dude. So it's in place of, like, beef and all that stuff. Yep. So what I am oh, ready yeah, to look hand at that. In... You can make a cheeseburger and you can get a bacon cheeseburger out of firm tofu? I object. <laughs> yeah. For the hearty breakfast, I discovered you can replace an egg with firm tofu for a fried egg. Well, I don't know how you're going to get runny yolk to with tofu. I don't care about the egg thing. I object to replacing the bacon in a bacon cheeseburger with tofu. <laughs> I actually, I like, thought they When you're doing that, you might as well just be like, I give up. So if you want to come over here, uh, we needed eggs as well. So uh, Soren is currently spinning at about 36,000 RPM. Nice. In reality, there's about 128 chickens there, and they're just feeding a hopper into a chest into the ME system, so we have a ton of eggs now. How how did you get so many chickens? Uh, arrows. Remember, oh, arrows can be used to turn them with arrows. Yep, exactly. And we do not lack for arrows. So let's see. No. Let's see. We have two yeah. quests we can currently hand in from Hell's Kitchen, and I think the that spaghetti and chickens. meatballs. <laughs> yes, it is. The spaghetti and meatballs should be ready shortly as well. All so, right. Well, I just handed in my vegan delight. So let's see what I got in my reward bag there. I got corn seeds. I have a wood oh, golem. Oh, I could have used that because that was one of my quests <laughs> that I just finished. And then the most important meal. I'll take the right bag. Uh, let's see. The most important meal. Okay, I'll take the left bag. Ooh, that's an epic bag. Ooh, I got a potion flask with flight. I have seven different vials of Essentia. Neat. Yeah, so I'm in the AE system, that'll be fine. Alright, so we still have more cooking to do, right? So that's it for cooking. Um, yeah, the spaghetti yeah, meatball should spaghetti be done meatball. shortly, then we can hand that one in. I'm ready to hand in dirt, actually. Let's do it. Left bag for me. I guess you can tell which one I'm going to take. Ooh, I got ender lily seeds. I got an epic bag. I got another wood golem. <laughs> that's funny, you got two wood golems, that's awesome. Uh, well, that doesn't help me anymore. It might have before, but... So we only have one quest left in For the Hoarding by Way, and that's the Purple Madness one. Yeah, and that one's your job. Oh, cool. Okay, well, I'm waiting <laughs> for somebody to get some bees going on here. So well, I'm working on that, but you could get a forestry uh, farm set up to make that amaranth uh, a lot easier to get. You should probably also make a sawmill, too, so you maximize the number of wood planks you get. Uh, I've got an idea or two for that one. All right, let's see what else. Do we have anything else? We're 95% uh, done for the, for the hoarding. Oh, yeah, we Under got ethanol to, hand in, ethanol to hand in, too. Okay, so go with the flow ethanol? Yeah, so we did that one as well. Industrial wow. grafter, bottle of natural gas, rune of sacrifice, or reward bag. 
Hmm. I want to see what an industrial grafter costs. That doesn't look terribly hard to get. Power module. What about the bottle nah. of natural gas? Didn't we look that up last time and you said it was easy? No, you looked it up. I was surprised that there was natural gas. No, you looked it up and said it was easy. I'm looking up your gas. It's... I don't know how you make liquid natural gas. Ah, whatever. We don't need it. As far as we know. Yeah, I'm gonna take, <laughs> yeah, the, I'm reward gonna take the reward back. Yeah, I have no idea. Uh, alright, cool. Um... I don't know, reward bags always stink for me. Why don't you tell me what, 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 how, what, how good of a reward bag did you get? I don't know, because I already opened it, and I got a bunch of fish. Oh, that sounds boring. Yeah. I might go with the Rune of Sacrifice. I mean, they're not hard to make. I don't know if they're I really don't need to use these fish. these fish. I guess I'll go with the reward bag, because everything else is craftable. Even though I don't usually get good rewards from reward bags, I got bacon jerky. Nice. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, but I did do a bunch of quests in my Wizard Steve quest. I completed five quests off camera. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I know. I was just being a little overzealous. Um, but the reason for that was because they were all crafting. Like, this one I just had to use some of the alchemy stuff to craft. So I'm just going to grab the reward bag there. That gets me... Oh, I got a sword of splintering. I got I also... glis glistering melon, blaze rods, fermented spider eyes, 16 gas tears, that's nice, a brewing Man, stand, really... and 16 magma cream. So the next one was Thalmic Minions, and that one was one of each type of golem. Believe it or not, the crafting of the golems was not the hard part. It was getting the research points needed to craft the golems. Like, you had to do research to figure them out. The, the, the trade-in research points for research mechanic actually is pretty expensive. So I had to do like a lot of researching of items and stuff. And I actually flew around the void for a while and found a bunch of um, aura nodes that I scanned to get different aspects to research with. So that was pretty tricky. My epic bag from that golem one is full of 16 nomadic servos, so not very good. 16 pneumatic servos, huh? I also get an epic bag. I got a couple wood golems. And I got, ooh, a very nice reward. I got a bunch of different ethereal essences. Yeah, and they, uh, the overflow just went over to me, so... Cool. Well, you can put them away for me then. I don't know that I need them, really. And I'm ready to hand in spaghetti. But you got quests. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, I had it yeah, almost finished cra um, crafting. Go for it. All right, epic bag. I got blackout curtains, cursed earth, and a division sigil. Nice. We could definitely use that. What'd you get? I'm trying to figure out how to use it. What is it? Is it the thalmostatic harness? No, no, it's not, that. It's not that. I could just kill you and find out what it is. You're leaving me in suspense. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, there we go. Hey there. Watch out. Was that you? <laughs> I didn't do it. You probably don't um, have fall protection. What is that thing? Uh, that was a jetpack that just exploded. Nice. Ow. It's a good thing we yeah, have to right. make another one. Uh, that was pretty awesome. Okay. Works, yeah, awesome. Fireworks. Fireworks. Yeah. Um, so the next thing I needed to get was uh, from useful sigils. I needed a sigil of the green grove and an air sigil. The air sigil recipe didn't change, but the sigil of the green grove did. Um, and it required a bunch of mine factory loaded machines. But I mean, other than that, I was pretty much ready to go. So again, we're just crafting recipes. Uh, it's not going to tell me what potions are. Pick the left potion for me. Let's see which one that is. I got the right I one, and that was regen. that was regen. Regen? All right. I like regen, so I'll take that one as well. Regeneration. Nice. And I apparently got fire resistance. I got a spiked sword. Nice. 
Ah, uh, let's see. I got some glowstone nooks. Apparently not so good. Okay, next up, uh, remember that bound and tied, that crafting task? Mm -hmm. Well, the two things that I crafted and showed you last episode, that's all we needed to do. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm actually going to pick the Rune of Augmented Capacity here because I like those runes and they're actually kind of a hassle to craft. The Rune of Sacrifice isn't bad. The Augmented Capacity is not really bad. But it is a hassle to craft, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. So I got if a you bunch wanna... of shards. Oh, cool. Like Thongcraft shards? Yep. Nice. And then finally, uh, solid blood. Remember I made that large bloodstone brick last episode to go mm -hmm. and make this a tier four altar? Well, that was apparently part of the quest. So you decide which flash you're going to pick first, and I'll... I'll take a left on this time. Okay, what'd you get? Instant health. I'll take that. That sounds cool. Remember when we didn't know what the maximum limit of lives was? Yeah. I do remember that. Do we know now? Nope, but I feel like living dangerously. Oh boy. Well, we only have 75 lives, so... Uh, we actually have uh, 81, have 81 and I have 100, 100 in, my hand. in my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you do whatever you want, sir. You can do whatever you want. Um, so, the next quest, unfortunately, is really a big pain in the butt. It requires 16 lamps of fertility, 16 lamps of growth, 16 of two types of animation cores. It doesn't tell you in here. I'm going to have to look and figure out which ones those are. And three magician's blood orbs, which are pretty easy to make. The other stuff, the thongcraft stuff, is actually quite a hassle to make. And then I'm guessing that this is one of those uh, thongcraft staves, which isn't too hard to make. So I'm deciding which ones we want to work on next. Um, I guess I should finish up the, the wizarding stuff. Have a look at our life count in the uh, quest book. Where is it in there? Uh, Where does it tell you your life count? Click on one of the chapters twice. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 181 lives. Nice. I've currently died one time. Uh, that is so keeping track, track of. Oh, Ahamar died two times, and Applied Energistics died zero times. You should know that. And, and Jade Cat has died zero times, too. Has also died zero times. Monsters got me once. That's pretty cool. That's awesome how it tracks that. Worst players. Total deaths three. Void. First, Pahamar. Direwolf 20 died to monsters. And Pahamar died to other slash unknown. That's kind of cool. I didn't know that it had that kind of tracking. Uh, that was added not too long ago. Yeah? I've got so much health, by the way, right now. <laughs> you can take that. You can take that. Ah! How much damage does this do? No, no, don't. That's a bad idea. <laughs> I'm full of bad ideas. Um, so yeah, this mob grinder thing, by the way, working out really, really well. I'm getting so much life points and essence from this stuff. Hey, what I get weakness? Is that you doing that to me? No, I'm over here. Lies, Pahimar attacks. I would never do that to you. Lies, you would. <laughs> I'm way too sweet and innocent. <laughs> no. Stop laughing um, at me. Hey, check out this sigil that I got. You ready? Come over here. Okay. There we go. Ta-da! Is that like a sigil of growth or something? Yeah, it increases growth text of nearby plants. Speeds things up pretty quickly, too. Let's see. We only have three more cooking quests left. Nice. Oh, the last oh, one's the terrible, though. Yeah. I'm going to go figure out what I have to do to get all the stuff I need for this Thongcraft research, or stuff, because uh, this is a lot of Thongcrafty stuff to make. So I need these Golem animation cores. That might be Harvest? I have to look. What yeah, that looks like Harvest. start with? Meadows? So I need Harvest. Uh, meadow and Forest. If you breed those two together, you'll get common. I know that. Well, let's see. We have 
in terms of pr um, princesses that we already have outside of hives, we have Infernal, we have Modest, Meadows, Jaded, Oblivion, and Attuned. Okay. Well, what's your first quest? Well, right now you have to craft, and then you have to make a Bealizer, a Trealizer, and a Honey Drop. Honey Drops will come from any bee. So if you want to just go ahead and put whatever bees you have... Like if you have if you have meadows, put them in a thing, and you'll get honey drops. Um, and the bealizer and trealizer are made in the forestry crafting thingy. Yep. Okay. Well, why don't I do that and you work on the thorncraft stuff? Okay. I need to get a bunch of night ore, so I'm debating if I want to automate the production of night ore. Might not hurt because we can always transform it into a automation of elementum, and that stuff's pretty handy to have a lot of. Uh, so let's see, alchemy, do I have the automated stuff? Not yet, but I need five water and five, oh boy. This is what I was talking about. This stuff's expensive to research, and believe it or not, I probably don't have quite enough water. And this stuff requires water. So what I've been doing, and what I'm going to do is grab some permutation. Where's the essentia? I need potentia. This should be. So oh I yeah, I might as well oh, show yeah. off how I did the uh, the setup for the ethanol. Yeah. Yeah. So down here we have the eight uh, fermenters and the eight stills. So the fermenters here, I had these precision export buses, uh, giving them stacks of saplings, and they had compost, and they were going into where this quest delivery system was. Um, it actually wasn't there. This was feeding water into these guys. Then there was okay. a bunch okay. of fluid ducts bringing the um, biomass uh, over to the stills. The stills were pumping it into this um, tank. The tank was bringing it into the ME system. And we actually still have like 600 buckets of ethanol in the system. We made, nice. a, lot we made a lot of ethanol very quickly. Very quickly. Ethanol takes a while to make usually, so... Yeah, I wonder if it's yeah, just because there was so much RF going into those machines. Yeah, if you have a ton of RF going in, that definitely helps. So I'll tear these down because uh, right now they're just taking up space. So they've already been disconnected from the RF system because those stills just eat RF. And I think they eat it even though they're not doing any work. Exactly. exactly. That's a forestry thing, so. Yeah. All right, let me do a little bit. What I'm going to do is just jump over the edge here and find myself a couple aura nodes, specifically ones with water in them. And then we'll come back in a few minutes and hopefully I've got the research points I need to do some automated alchemy. And if I can't really find any, am I below the void here or what? Not, I shouldn't be. Ah, why am I taking damage? Or why does it look like I'm taking damage? I'm what not. Are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know, I'm taking damage for no reason. Oh wait, my sigil's on. It's probably that I'm out of life points. Yeah, that's it. I left my sigil on. No problem. Nobody panic. I'm just flying around in the void. That's all. Yeah, that's exactly why I'm panicking. No, don't panic. I'm looking for aura nodes that have water in them. All right, guys. We will be back in a minute after I find some aura nodes that I haven't yet scanned. This is, by the way, the way I'm getting my research that I need. I'll find aura nodes that I haven't scanned yet. As you can see, I've scanned quite a few of them. And, um, yeah. Stupid snow biome. All right, back in a few. All right, guys, we're back. Pahamar, what you got for me? I've got aura nodes, by the way, that I'm about to place down. Oh, I feel like that's way cooler. Let's do that. Okay, well, it's really not that exciting. Well, we'll pretend it is. Okay, are you ready to place down aura nodes? Oh, I'm ready. Okay. You know how you place down other blocks? Yes. This is the same way. You right-click. <gasps> oh, it it's blue. What's up? Oh, good. It's water. That's the one I kind of needed, too. <laughs> Hooray. It's like our acting completely went away by your genuine surprise. Well, I mean, it's cool. Hey, more water. It's actually oh, concerning me that I got two blue ones, but it's okay. Order's kind of good to have. And another one. What biome are we in? I think... We are in a river biome. That's probably why we're getting lots of blue ones. Which is cool, because the biome you're in kind of determines the kind of thing you'll get. Um, 
it gives you like a better chance. You can still get other ones, but you have a better chance of getting it. So debating if I want to keep placing these here or if I want to place them elsewhere and move them. The only problem is when you place them elsewhere and move them, it's not super great. But Let's try one more time because we still got plenty of spots here. I know. Well, I've only got five more aura nodes. Yeah, but you're going to get five from the quest. Yeah, but the quest is hard. No. Alright, I'll put one there. But here's the deal, even if this one that I place is not a water one, it's it's still gonna... The next one I place has a high chance of being a water one. Now, luckily, water is the one that I kind of need, but... See, this one has a bunch in it, but it definitely is mostly water. Well, why but, don't you well, try well, the magic biome, which is right underneath us right now. Like, where this, block, that, where is. this block is? Where? Over this here? This is a magical forest biome. Okay. Is this a magical forest biome? Yeah, look at that. Cool. Yoink. So that gave me uh, Slimus and Earthus. Nice. Or something. Nice. Yeah, not bad. I feel like that's enough aura nodes for now. I, I, I don't like placing these guys down if I don't need to, because I do want to kind of spread them out and move them as needed. Have you ever seen the moving of aura nodes? I have, actually. You stole a bunch from my old house on Forgecraft 3. Okay, good. Just so you know how it works. But luckily that means now that I can go ahead and make myself some modus. And that should allow me to get my Thalmanomicon out. Alchemy. Automated alchemy. Nice. Alright, what you got? Where you uh, I have a carpenter that's ready to make a bealizer and a trealizer. Okay, that sounds boring. So I've got it set up here so the AE system is pumping water into this one. So now, okay. we, just now we just need two. Well, you do that. I'm gonna go not watch that happen. Ah, you're so boring. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, let's do this. Oh, I still have an epic reward bag? Did I not hand one of those in? Ooh, I oh, I got yeah. a hammer. Oh, yeah. By the way, I do have some honey drops already, because uh, when I broke some of the hives upstairs, I managed to get a honeycomb. Nice. Okay, so then there you go. You've already got honey drops, so you're, yep. you're pretty much almost ready to hand in then. Yeah, now I just need to uh, do this in the trializer, and we're ready to hand in and move on. Cool. All right, I need a crucible and two alchemical constructs, which for that I'm going to need some V filters and a bunch of Essentia tubes. Getting close. I'm going to need Essentia tubes. So that's cool and fun. Another and I'm ready to hand in. Wait, it's going to be a two parter. No, it's not. Okay, we're ready to go. All right, cool. I'm just getting resources together to craft. Uh, let's see. We're take, handing in what now? Take, the bees and trees? Analyzing the results. Take the bag, because we already have a bunch of tropical hives. Okay. And now you have and a probably, analyzer and trailizer too. too. Yay! I'm taking those out of my inventory immediately. Dyer, do you not like bees? Uh, Actually, no. Bees are cool. I got amaranth stairs. I got a red herring. Yeah. Is that one of the things we need for the purple quest, by the way? No, it literally is just a raw fish that's been renamed Red Herring. No, I mean the purple stairs. No, I need purple planks, but not stairs. Okay. That was named a Morvi Decor, by the way. Okay, now let's see. I can make alviaries, bee automation, or genetic manipulation. Such choices. I know. I'll probably go with genetic manipulation because I know I'm going to need, uh, what is it, the gene pool? Yeah, the gene pool is what I need to make the liquid DNA. Okay. So oh. I'm going to go ahead and get started on making those. Cool. There it is. The trick to these is that they're not shapeless. And that totally messed me up one time when I was doing this. All right, so that's that, 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 that. Okay, so I just need some wood now. Did you notice I cut down our great wood log, by the way? I hadn't. Yeah, I cut down our great wood log. 
Wow. Why? I needed a bunch of great wood stuff. Well, I guess that's one way to get it. You know, harvesting great wood. Yeah. Um, I needed it for all the golems that I crafted. Because you need uh, a lot of the V aspect, and that's on great wood logs. So it's a really good source for it. Okay, that's what I should need for that. And I guess I'll probably want to set this up probably probably over here. Well, I don't know where I want this to be. It's always so difficult to decide where you want to build something. I guess here is good. Luckily, we got a bunch of water and ordo nodes. <laughs> Guess it was a good thing to do this in this biome. All right, well, that's good for now. Let's wand this thingy, I guess. Is this where I want it to be? It's so expensive to craft, I better make sure. Um, yeah, it should be fine. And then I can just put two crystals next to it. Yeah, it's fine. Ta-da! All right, now I have to make a couple uh, Alembics, and for that, I'm going to need four more of these. All right, so this, four, this, I heard something four. cool sounding over, over here. Yeah, I'm making stuff. I see that. What you making? What you making? What you making? I'm automating alchemy. Is this going to involve cool. a super complicated computer craft script like you did on Forgecraft 1? Nope. Okay. No, it'll be real easy. I got some boring crafting uh, with some boards to do. Do you want to come back in a bit? Um, if you want, but I'm almost done with this piece. Oh, okay. I'm like super almost done with it. Like I'm ready to do it right in a moment here. As soon as I figure out. So then furnace, crucible, and one, two, go. Have you ever seen the automated alchemy stuff? No, just give me nope. a sec. Just give me a sec. Okay. I'm combing. And then we're combing. Do we want some night tour? Okay, some alchemical furnaces, crucibles, yep. alchemical constructs. Watch your feet, because I'm mining underneath your feet. Oh, goodness. Oh. Yeah. I guess not everyone has that super cool flying harness like you do. Hey, you could make one if you want. I'd have to do a whole bunch of research, and you've got it so taken care of. I'll just make a jetpack and it explodes, explodes in the air. In the air. Do I need that night tour under there? Maybe I don't need that. I think I need the night tour under this one. Doesn't really matter. We're about to have like almost infinite night tour in a moment. All right, so we've got the alchemical construct. So the recipe for night tour, as you may or may not know, sir, is let's see, do we have any coal? So let's see, recipe for night tour, which I'm doing first, and then we're going to do uh, elementum in a bit. But it's ignis and potentia and lux. How much luck is on glowstone blocks? Just because we have so much of it. That actually, well, that's not that, that's a lot. It's probably better to use than torches, I would think. Yeah, I could do that. 
Uh, then the only thing I need is a void jar. So let me get a void jar real quick. Okay, you ready, buddy? Just a sec. Every time you're like ready to do something, I come running over, and then you're not ready to do it, so I go back to crafting. Hey, now. It's hard, man. It's hard, man. You know what? Probably one more thing I'm going to want to make are labels. See? See? Well, I'm just thinking. Mm -hmm. I could probably make some labels. You, sir, are a hard wolf to hang out with. I know, I'm a big pain, but it's okay. Pain wolf. Well, because well, I know... Maybe not that bad. Oh, so this is where the this whole growth has been. I was looking for that earlier. Alright, here goes nothing. So, we should be able to put um, Potentia there. Census is going to be there. Glowstone will go in there. Coal will go in here. And we'll label this guy once it, you know, boils up and does its thing. There we go. We got some Ignis in there. So, all we should have to do now is get some Glowstone. And a chest. Success! It works! Look in the chest, buddy. I'm coming again. Nice. And what goes into the jar? Uh, the jar is census. We don't need the census, so that's a void jar. Basically, once the jar fills up, it'll automatically just void any extra it gets. Nice. That'll prevent the system from stopping once it overflows with census. That should actually work really well. I'm excited by this. You did a good job. I wouldn't, mind, job. I wouldn't mind getting a little bit of elementum, too. So that just needs Perdito. That's not a big deal, though. I could. Oh, that would be neat. Ooh. I made two more Arcane Olympics. We'll be back in a minute, guys. Mr. Direwolf, we are long. We are no, no comment at that. I think I wasn't recording when you said it. Duh, shall I do it again? No, that's all right. I'll pass. <laughs> See, Direwolf does this just to make me look bad. Yeah, pretty much. Pahamar tries to make me look bad and then fails. I wonder what your wife would say to that. I don't know. All right, let's see. That's probably good. All right, what I'm going to do is stop this whole process here for a minute. I'm just going to replace this stuff so that we can actually make this a dual use and purpose thing. I'm going to break this guy. Well, I guess I didn't really have to break him, but that's all right. There we go. That's Perdito. This can be census. I've discovered I can't go much further down those quests that I had been working on with bees. Oh? Yeah, because I needed I royal jelly. For that, ah, I need imperial that. bees, and I'm not at that point yet. So I'm going to look at the other two that I can do, so bee automation and alviaries. Okay. So I'm just going to make myself an industrial alviary while you figure out what you're doing over there. Okay, that works for me. 
I am making this so that we can use this for both Elementum and um, Nitor. Uh, did we have to wrap up the episode, by the way? We do, actually. All right, well, I think we should wrap up here then because I'm pretty much ready to go with this stuff. Since I attempted to embarrass you, why don't you take care of it? All right, guys, so for now, uh, what I'm going to do is finish building this little contraption here, which should uh, work to... There we go. Should. Yeah, I don't want that there. I got a quest. Oh? Yep. B automation. Oh, nice. Already done? Hand it in. Cool. All right, so yeah, we're going to wrap up the episode now. Uh, this thing should work to do both um, Elementum and Nitor. So yeah, I think we're doing pretty well. All I have to do is throw this guy back in here, and I might as well throw some more coal back in here. And this is working well. All right, guys, so handing in which one now? Uh, bees and trees, bee automation? Yep. You want to save the bags we'll till the next, bags time. The next time? Industrial apiary? Ooh, should we? All right, I'm going to pick so the left bags. bag. You know it's going to be awesome because it's a greater bag, which is usually terrible. So, yeah. <laughs> right? Dude, that's what's up. All right, All guys. Right. Dial 20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time. Like I said, uh, this should be a good source of Elementum and Nitor for us. So now I've got a bunch of this Nitor, it'll make it a lot easier to get those Golem animation cores that I need. And we've automated Nitor and Elementum, which, you know, doesn't hurt at all. Elementum's a really good fuel source, by the way, Pahamar. We can use it for some things down the line anyway. That'll be nice. useful. Nice. Cool. I'll probably run the AE system and, and hook it up over here so that we have access to to autofill this stuff with the items that we want to have, you know, constantly stocked. All right, guys. Take it easy. See you guys.